Good morning and happy Thursday. I haven't even, I've have crushed on my face still. I had to come outside. Look at the fucking sky. <gasps> Look at that, guys. Fucking beautiful. Like, I can't even. I have not even washed my face or anything, but I couldn't even pass this up. It was so pretty. Yeah. I think it looks cooler from my window, from inside. Now that we've just started our day with gratitude as we should, let's make our bed. You guys know I do this first thing every single morning. And I've been actually experimenting with new little ways to make my bed, which kind of sounds weird. I have the same pillows. That's what she looks like. Good morning. I've been rotating them and finding different ways and it kind of spices it up and it makes my room feel new. I don't know what that is. Let's make our bed. I've been sleeping, like falling asleep reading. So I have my little light here. I don't even remember where I got this from, but like, I just read at nighttime. My sleep has been like 20 times better, but I always wake up and I have to wake up covered in a book. Am I Junie B. Jones? Shut up. Perfecto. Look at that. It took me two seconds, dude. And look how Gorgina that is. I want to get another squish so bad because I've had my cutie. I got this for my birthday two years ago and she's been alone this whole time. Look at my little crab. So I have to look to see what other ones to get. Wash our face, do some skincare, and then get our journals. I guess right now I can take my bee pollen because I have it up here. Hey. I typically keep this downstairs, but for whatever reason, I just have it with all my perfume. So let's just take our bee pollen right now. Might as well. Cheers. Perfect. Delicioso. Let's go wash our face because I have crust on it. <laughs> so we're just clipping our hair back. I don't know what is, I don't, when I get to this point with my hair, I just don't feel like this. It's not supposed to look good, okay? A little clock clip, just get it out your face. <laughs> just exit the tab. Miss Serave, wash your hands before you wash your face, people. burning okay. let's take out whatever is going on here face is dry so first we're gonna go in with our snail mucin thank you gary and pat this into our skin super moisturizing love it love it i got my sister this robe for christmas why is my dog barking this past could my mom might be home and that would be why he's barking. She doesn't wear it, so I wear it. I bought it, so it's fine. So it's actually mine now. It always was, but she's just returning home. But I told her because I told my sister. CeraVe moisturizing cream, by the way. I was like, hey, sorry, I've been wearing the robe that I got you a lot. I don't mean to steal it. She was like, it's fine. You wear it more than me. But I, I love, okay, this is going to sound so weird. I love being naked. <laughs> Y'all know I sleep naked. Like, any chance I have, which I'm streaking. Like, I don't care. So having a robe on, or I just keep the robe in my room, and then I sleep naked, whatever, and I can just throw it on. This morning, when I looked at the window and I saw that the sky looked like that, I just threw my robe on and ran. I don't have to even put pants on. Are you kidding? Why have I not been a robe girl? It is a really thick robe, and I think I want to get another one that's, like, actually mine and not my sister's. It's, like, maybe satin. Ah. Oh. That would just put me in a 50s movie, right? I don't know. They probably did that. No idea. We're gonna go in with our Aquaphor. We've finally broken in our tub. I fucking love Aquaphor, guys. Sponsor me, please. Please. A little bit. I think crazy, because I always do my neck. Like so. I'm just kind of pat the extras on my skin. Not really putting a ton on there, but just to moisturize it, because my skin is a desert, so. And then we're gonna go in. Hey, don't look too close. Just kidding. Nutradina sunscreen on your arms, on your chest, right in your eyes. And then super group sunscreen, about a pea size amount. Can't even see that. Gorgeous. I look okay. I have my rub on still. Sorry. I kind of look like the shoulder, you can see my shoulder striations. See, this is the neckline. This neckline is always so flattering on me, I think because of my traps. Like, I always gravitate towards things that are flat like that. Anyways, that's just not the point, babe. Like, get your gua sha. Perfect. Do anything makeup-wise, really. But I always, always have my eyebrows done. If I ever die prematurely, like I feel like I'm going to, can somebody just do my eyebrows? Just like I'm doing right now. That's all I ask. Yay! 
So this is the morning skincare all done. I have a hair somewhere, I can feel it. What is that? Hey, like, honestly, don't have much going on today, so we're gonna find a way to change that because I have to be doing something all the time. My first journal that I use is Plan, Pause, Reflect. I got this off Amazon. I've gotten a few questions asking, and we're just gonna fill out this side here, which gives you like a little mood analysis of how you're feeling, which you can fill in. Some little mantras to guide your day, and then one word to lead your day. Let's go fill that out. Okay, this is kind of what my journal looks like when I fill it out in the morning. So I just do the little affirmations kind of suggested. So I am, I will, I can. I just do some different ones there. And then I kind of plan out my checklist here, um, which is very helpful. One day to lead my day, word to lead my day is appreciative. And then for moods, I'm feeling grateful, empowered, and sociable, period. With my regular journal, which I think I'll show you what I write there. But that's gonna be more just my mental dump of just writing down everything. My tripod is gonna kill me. What I dreamed about last night, things that I'm working on, like personal. It's been really, really cool to have this. And I'm already, look how far, I got this in September. And for somebody who said they were never gonna journal, I have this much left in it to do. Like all of this is full. Come on. We have our beautiful breakfast. I have my candied sweet potatoes with cinnamon and sugar, and, or cinnamon and sugar-free syrup with some strawberries because my sweet potato is kind of small. So whenever it's really small, I usually just pair another fruit with it for some more carbs. And then I have my egg scramble, which is three whole eggs, three whites with spinach and hot sauce. This literally looks sexual. So give us some space quick. All right, we're heading off to spin. This is the Define zipper. I'm obsessed. I feel like I'm like a surfer right now. These are the airy shorts and then underneath, is from, there's deodorant on it. But this is from when I thrifted this. It's from Diosal, Diosal. I'll put the text fit. It's just a little brown sports bra, so cute. I'm gonna do some abs after because I haven't trained abs this week yet. Usually I don't even spin on Thursdays. This is already kind of different for me, but my schedule got thrown off, so whatever. Believe it or not, I'm actually very proud of myself for spinning today because a past version of myself because it's thursday i would have gotten stressed like I, things used to be very 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 day aligned for me to where if it's like a specific day i have to do a specific thing so the fact that i'm able to kind of have a more malleable routine i'm recognizing that i'm proud of myself for that so we're gonna make a little bit of pre-workout i don't usually do pre-workout for spin but i'm just i'm a drinker like i just need to sip on something all the time maybe that's my like fatal flaw because it's not always water okay don't get excited I did, but okay, I look like a vampire. Hold on. Hawaii Five O. Okay. Um. I think we're gonna do my. Or should I save that? I don't know. I have one Celsius left for my base. I don't need to do that. I don't need to do that. Guys, I need to take a caffeine break so bad, but like tomorrow. You know. Get yourself a shaker bottle. Let me set you up, actually. Cutie. I'm gonna be honest. I feel so spiritual and like. I don't know what that is. This kind of stinks. Okay, whatever, girl. I'm gonna do one hefty scoop of the green apple non-stem from Legion, and then that's... <laughs> that scoop just gave those fucking Pinterest things with like the big wine glasses, and the mom's like, only one glass a day. That's me with this. And then I'm gonna do the pina colada because I need to finish it. I'm like almost done. Okay, I just waste it. I need to really get into writing again. I used to write a lot, like poetry and stuff. I, don't laugh. <laughs> I'm, I'm very expressive in analogies and finding comparisons to things and that really helps me process my emotions. So I've been really feeling like I need to be doing that again. Like last night, I was up dude just thinking about life. Maybe too much though. I don't know. I can't tell if that's a good or a bad thing because I overanalyze things to where I feel like I'm almost too self-aware. Like I, I think so deeply into things that I'm sure at a grand scheme, it's really not that fucking deep, girl, but I make it deep to me. But then I justify that. I justify that by saying, if I feel any feeling things so deeply is a beautiful thing. Like I'm just a lover, I'm just a feel. But it's like, okay, but then I think way too fucking hard about everything. Someone has to know what I mean. To where it can be like debilitating. You know what I'm saying? you become so self-aware of negative habits so like when i self-sabotage for example because of course you're not only dealing with the self-sabotage but you're dealing with the awareness that you're self-sabotaging and that makes it almost doubles the pain because if i could just be delusional and procrastinate and not even know that i was procrastinating yeah that would still suck in terms of what i'm able to get done but at least i don't really know what i'm doing but i know what i'm doing when i'm doing bad things you know doesn't make it better but whatever i'm working through it okay 
When I come back, I'm gonna work on my trainer eyes. So basically, I can talk about this now. I am going to be, hey, I'm gonna be taking coaching. I'm, guys, it's like a moment. Do it with me. Okay. I'm going to be taking clients to start my coaching business by the end of February. So right now I'm working on building all my programs so that I have everything set up for all of that, which I'm so excited, so excited about. But it takes a lot of time. So that's my main focus today. I will say I have been procrastinating like a motherfucker, like the worst, because there isn't technically, there is a timeline, but it's not like school where I'm gonna get a 0% if I don't submit it by midnight. It is kind of up to me, and as much as it makes me so excited and I love doing it, getting myself to start doing it is so hard. So I might go to a coffee shop or something to get me in a different environment to feel studious, put my work shoes on to like, I don't know, play some kind of psychology trick on myself to like feel productive. That's the vibe for today. By the way, if I sound like SpongeBob Squeaky, these tennis shoes, y'all, hey, um, I got these. I don't know how, I don't have calves, don't look. The, this is, <laughs> if someone just skipped to this part of the video, they'd be like, this part it has air in it but it got popped, like my dog, hey Bentley, popped the air part of that. So I deflate every time I walk. I need new tennis shoes. Please comment good tennis shoes for the gym. I don't need, I just wear Converse for leg day or go barefoot because I'm a Neanderthal and I don't give a fuck. For like just everyday tennis shoes, I want a really good one. I don't, I don't they don't have to be Nike. I was looking at that one. I don't even remember what they're called. Dioso Cloud or something? Where the logo is like D Dairy Queen. <laughs> I don't know. Why am I gonna braid my hair? for spin so it's out of my face, even though it looks kind of cutie and it's gonna fuck up the curl pattern. It's a gorgeous day. Like it's cold, but in a good way. And watch the sunshine, oh my God. Like, uh, can we just take a minute with me? Ready, breathe in. Wow, it is such a fucking beautiful thing to live, dude. That is insanity, all right. Okay, now I'm freezing. Okay, so now we're gonna go to spin. I have spin at 9.45, and then afterwards I'm going to work. I'm so, so excited to tell you guys my like trainer eyes program, because I'm starting to take clients by the end of December. End of December, happy new year! What fucking day is it? It's February. And, uh, again with me? Okay, end of February, I will be officially, my coaching will be up for you guys. So I had to give myself a deadline because if I don't, then I'm literally just gonna never do anything ever. I need deadlines, I need structure, or else I'm gonna itch and burn. Get all my programs written, which I can show you guys. I think it's really interesting seeing the behind the scenes things. I don't know if you're supposed to post what you, if that's like a credential thing that I shouldn't do. I wanna do it. Hey, I'm my own manager, like fuck off, you know? So I'm gonna show you what I can because I think it's interesting to see the process in how I form things. That's what I wanna see. I don't know. Let's go to the gym. fucking fun. I'm gonna do the ab roller and some weighted sit-ups, like a little circuit moment. So ab roller, weighted sit-ups, and then a plank, I think. Or no. Dead bucks? I don't fucking know. Let's just watch and you'll find out.
more sets like that. So three in total. That's, if you do that right, dude, you're gonna be burning. And why does my hair always look the best right after I'm like working out? Don't know the answer, but can we get a little ab check? Thank you. Ab check. I will say, obviously a deficit reveals them, but if you are in an intended surplus, I'm zooming. Hey, okay. Even if you are in an intended surplus right now, the energy to grow your abs in that way, you can have them show a little bit even with higher body fat because it is dendrogenetics and a deficit to reveal them. But people leave out the part where you can grow them, like their muscles too. Like, are you really gonna be a mean girl and not let them sit at the table, babe? Let's include everybody. Okay. Go work out your abs right now. And that was killer. And I look so fucking pretty right now. That's all. Okay, let's just not look at the hair. I'm about to take my shower because I'm disgusting and sticky. But when we, me and my sister went to Ulta the other day, we got this vitamin C from Tree Hut foaming gel wash. Honestly, I was skeptical because I only know Tree Hut through their scrubs. And I really, with body wash, I want to make sure that it lathers. This stuff lathers really well and it smells really good. I really recommend it. So I'm using this to wash my body along with the scrub that my best friend gave me. It's in the scent the flavor, ocean glow. And then I'm just gonna like shave, wash my face with CeraVe, whatever. Typically I would match, in a beautiful perfect world, I would match my scrubs. And if you have all of your scents the same, you're gonna smell more of one thing. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't, like you're gonna use what you got. You know what I'm saying? So we're using what we got. So I'm gonna go shower and then we're gonna make some lunch working on my programming. I think later because it's such a beautiful day, I wanna take my dogs for a walk or Bentley to the dog park or something. All right, now we're out of the shower. Hair is... It's giving, I need a heart. What is it, the lion from, is the lion the one that didn't have a heart? Or he didn't have courage? He didn't have courage. Was the Tin Man the heart? I don't remember. I don't, I need to go watch fucking Wizard of Oz. But I'm him. Hey, I'm doing some laundry right now. One thing that I have learned is this is the, I always, and every time I go to do laundry, there's already shit in there. Clear the era, bitch. I got a full ass tank to put in here. Hold on. Bingo, bitch. One of the hardest parts about laundry isn't even this part. It's once it's done, you gotta fold it, but like just deciding to do laundry is like the hardest part. And this is from maybe three, four days. Like it's all gym clothes. These are my defined shit. Like gym clothes and towels because I just take so many showers. Which can we, there, okay, this is all of them. I need some help in the comments. What is the proper amount of washing your towels? Because I was thinking about this you use them when you're clean. Like I come out of the shower and I'm drying off with the towel. I'm a clean girly. Do I need to wash my towels ever? Like what is the timeline on that? Oh my God. Can I not put a USB cord in here? And for detergent, we use these little laundry sheets. It's a lot more eco-friendly and cheaper. So you just take one of these like this and you just break it up because it breaks up very easily. Like, ooh. and then you're gonna litter. You're gonna claim to be eco-friendly, then you're gonna litter. And I just put it, you can't really see, but I put it in here. Just like regular detergent. Yay! So that's gonna go, we're gonna make some lunch. I don't know what I'm feeling. Probably a burrito. All right, I just made the fattest burrito known to mankind. There's chicken, beans, spinach, cheese. I have the tutorial for how I made it on my TikTok paired with some red peppers and the Faye yogurt with some hot sauce. I'm about to munch so hard, I'm so excited. It is time to lock in. I have my phone downstairs, not even gonna bring it into my room because I need to for real like focus. I made a little coffee. Look at the cute cup. Yes! I don't, I don't have a top on it so I can't really show you. But I just have almond milk in here and some stevia. Warm drinks just make me feel focused. What? I don't know. Right now, so it's about to be two o'clock currently. 1.53. So I am dedicating the next few hours to working on my programming and training, which I'll show you once I do it. And the re reason I'm also saying that is because my procrastination has been so, so bad recently. Part of it is definitely self-sabotage and I'm really trying to work on that. I think that's what I'm gonna have my podcast episode be about this week is not even to just talk about it, but also just to get me to come to terms with my own and maybe research some different perspectives on it to help myself. Cause girly pop, let's get our shit done. Let's like actually like set goals and then do the things that we need to do to reach them. You know, it's, it's a little bit difficult. I'm used to deadlines stressing me out. So that's one of the reasons I've been verbal about the fact that at the end of February, I'm gonna have my training program open. If I don't have that, I'll just kind of sit around and then I feel bad for sitting around and it's like, babe, you're doing it like what 
Anyways, so I'm gonna work on that for a few hours and then I will check in with you guys afterwards. I'm gonna be hella studious. The glasses are on. I also think I have a bug bite right here. Is that what that is? Hey dermatologists, like, help me. Why is it itchy? I thought the bugs were dead, it's February. Can they hibernate? I don't mean to bug shame, but let's go in the caves. Happy to report I got a good amount done, so I'm just having a little snack. It's 3.30 right now. So I just made my apple dip, which is just Greek yogurt and peanut butter. You guys know the vibes. With two apples, I think they're gala, gala, whatever the hell, like who cares? But I'm gonna snack on this, easy and yummy, and then we're gonna go up and finish my other work. All right, so now I'm back and working. I can kind of show you guys a little bit of what I'm doing. I don't know when exactly this vlog will be up, but I know that I'm gonna be spending a lot of February working on it. I also don't wanna give all of it away. I don't know. I can show you guys, so I've been spending this time. This is gonna be like my website, making all my workouts. So we have the different workouts for the different splits. So I'm doing like for women's, a three day, a four day, and a five day split, just based off of what people want to do, right? So like, for example, this five day split for women's hypertrophy, I have it broken up into little meso cycles kind of here with like weeks one through four with the workouts that I've built. So like, for example, this is a abs and cardio workout and you can see on here that I have it kind of listed out. So that's what I've been doing now. And then now I'm going to work on uh, rate stuff and you can figure out, so what's really gonna be cool is, yeah, you have your workouts and things, but there's also like habit stacking and things like that where I can get notified that you're drinking water or that you got your steps in, things like that, which are really cool. It takes a lot longer than you think. I thought that, oh, I'll just make my workouts, but you have to individually go in, pick your, you know, Bulgarian split squats, write your note for it, you know, add it to it. it there's a lot that goes into it and it's really fun. It just takes a while. I'm gonna move into writing down scheduling. Like I had to make, I'm making a Calendly, Calendly account to for scheduling meetings and then like kind of focusing on my rates and things. And just getting educated so that I can get this shit going. So excited, I cannot wait for it to be like finally up and running. But we're going, me and my dad are going on the 26th to get my LLC officially. That feels so big girl. So yeah, I'm just gonna work on that. I'll probably edit some of this vlog as well because it's almost four o'clock right now. Back, oh my back. God, Bentley. Back, back. We are not taking the dogs to the dog park. He's literally losing his mind. <laughs> He's gonna bark the whole time, so stay there. Well, the dog park was way too busy. So we're walking him first because he doesn't do the best. He's just not, so we don't, I don't even know. It's not that he's a bad dog around other dogs. He, right, he kind of get nervous, so we're just walking them for a little bit to kind of tire him out, and then hopefully some of the dogs clear out, and he's just more tired. Do you know what I'm saying? So there's this cute little, like, greenway not too far from my house. I have a little bit. Okay, like, she does so well on walks. He just chokes himself, even with a harness. Go off king, I guess. But it's actually a nice day. It's not too freezing. We'll see if we ever actually go to the dog park. I don't even know. Okay, well, we just went for a walk because there was a toddler in that. Look at him, bro. It's okay. Luna just sits. She's so good in the car. But there was a toddler and that is a that court case like a... waiting to happen. We're just gonna stop by the store to get a few things. Okay, King, can you like take a deep breath? Honestly, me. Going to Giant, always. It's always Giant. Oh, okay. Be loading up on a flute. One of these. I don't really eat black I mean, I eat all of them, but. Which one would you prefer? Raspberries. Raz, yeah. Raz. Get them Raz. We're almost out of strawberries if you want strawberries. Yes, buy one, get one free. You always gotta check the bottom though, because that's where they get you. Because some shits be moldy. These look fine. That's great. If you're ever wondering how to shop, 80% of what you buy should be in this corner. And then that's the easiest way we do most of our groceries here and in the, the dairy and the meat section. And that's it. That's not real. What the hell is that? Do you see that, dude? That's a beach ball. Okay. Pomelo each. Pomelo? Pomelo? I don't know what the hell that is. And some nanners. Yes, nanners. See, they used to be 49 cents a pound. I, that's inflation for this, like, for that. Let's be so for real. It's ridiculous. Sweet potatoes, she knows. I've conditioned her. Bell peppers, you know the vibes. This shit pisses me off. Why is it individually packaged? And the motherland, thank you. I might actually pop an eye vein. Look. Oh, look how fucking big, dude. Dude, are you for real? 
sex and the only thing that's on my <laughs> Start playing some party next door. Some summer walker comes on. Honestly. All right, anyways, that's just the rare occasion that we pass the egg section. Mm, we already have 60 at home. And now we're gonna get, yep. This is ridiculous that it's fucking $6 for one of these, dude. Am I gonna get two? Yeah, but like, it's yogurt. Like, what are we doing? And the almond milk, preferably not expired, because that's what I always get. Um, we like to get this one, unsweetened. And if you look at the ingredients, there's no, what is it, palm oil? I think the almond breeze uses fucking like palm oil in it, if I'm not mistaken. Nope, I made that up. Okay, well, JK. But this has no added sugar in it, so my lover. Unexpected pit stop. Yup. Do you wanna get this, these ones? Or a bigger pack? Chunk light? It's um, cheaper. Yeah, it is cheaper. Is it water? Yeah. Wait, that's $3.99. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, that's for four. Oh, and vegetable oil next. Have water oh, oh but it's eight dollars. If y'all are ever on the go, by the way, these are so good. Probably. All the flavored ones, they have a lot of sodium in them, but like they're really yummy. I'll take one with me. Yes, cart. We need meat. We need hey. For Super Bowl, we're making chili. So Queen always makes the best chili. Thanks, hon. Tomatoes. We secured our motherland. That's like eight in one. Ground turkey. Cooked it's tonight. Super, like, you always want to do flat top. If it's ever like poofy like that, that's a bad sign. You want to make sure it's flat. Right. Instead, it didn't fall correctly. I'm grabbing some apple cider vinegar before I forget. This is how you know you're in the healthy aisle. They got the wooden floor. I'm zooming. Hey, we've upgraded. Yep. This is the best brand to get. It is brat honey cayenne. What the hell? I don't want that. Y'all remember when Kylie Jenner said that she wanted these and she sold every store out? I've still never tried it because I think of that time. I cheat the system and come to the vinegar section, y'all. We found it. This is the best stuff ever. I drink literally like the whole thing. Damn, we loading up on me. Okay, yeah. That color is scary. I'm making it tonight. I'm okay. freezing. You can freeze that. Um, I'll take it care. I eat it myself. They tried hiding the apple cider vinegar for me, but they were trying. I'm, why do I always zoom? What is happening? Walk past all of the Valentine's Day things. What are you guys doing for Valentine's Day? I'm curious. Don't ask what I'm doing, because I don't fucking know. Probably nothing. Okay, I have to pay two though. It's gonna steal our sweet potatoes. I always think it's so weird how whenever you have to go to the bathroom, at least in Giant, you gotta go through like the secret passageway to get here. Am I allowed to be here? Dinner. <laughs> Swatch. I'm kidding. I don't know what I'm gonna make for dinner. So you have to have a pickle while you think about it. These aren't even the good kind though, but they'll do. Mayor and my dad have just cried for a little bit over my dog, but that's fine. So now we're gonna do our laundry because it's finally dry. Pro tip, always do your laundry on your bed so that you have no choice but to fold it. Like where else am I gonna sleep, you know what I'm saying? Also, I'm probably crooked and that's okay. I never dry any of my gym stuff because I'm just, have a, I have a fear that it's gonna shrink. So I left all this stuff out. Like this hoodie by Define is so thick. It's great quality, but it takes eight years to dry, like eight light years to dry. So I kind of leave my fitness stuff, like my shorts all spread out because these are still damp. This stuff, like my clothes, we can fold. See, I was putting this off all day. It's literally done. First of all, half of it's fucking socks. It's not that hard. You just have to remind yourself that. Okay, so now we just leave the wet shit on my bed and then I'm just gonna go downstairs to make some dinner and keep the fan on and that way it'll be dry before I go to bed. And that's it. Put the fan on, air it out. Okay, I know this looks crazy. <laughs> just hear me out. Two potatoes, okay, with cheese, ham, covered in ketchup, and spinach. I can't explain this. It's good, it's cheesy, and it's my dinner, and it's not yours. Before bed, I just made some peanut butter oatmeal. Y'all, this banana bread oatmeal, you guys. I used the banana bread protein from Legion, and then I put some Hershey's powder in there with peanut butter. Oh, because then it's like peanut butter banana oatmeal. Come on, that looks incredible. It's time for some nighttime skincare. I wash my face with the same survey, with the same Aquaphor, the same everything. The only difference with my nighttime routine is instead of sunscreen, I use my tretinoin. I need to get more of this, but I honestly, I don't even know. I think I have to go to my dermatologist. Like, I don't know the whole process of that. I need to get that finished. <sighs> I'm, I'm okay. Can we talk? Okay. I have noticed I'm having a really hard time recently. Procrastination, but not even procrastination. Just this overwhelming feeling like I need to do be doing so much. Because I have technically so many things I could be doing. 
it's overwhelming and even in times when I get a bunch done I worked on my trainer eyes for like three hours today and I accomplished what I wanted to accomplish today but all I think about once I accomplish that is what's next and how I have that and how that branch has 20 other little steps and how oh yeah I have to do that one tax thing and oh and it's like I just feel like I could never get caught up and then on top of that there's other like family shit going on and I'm planning trips for the and it's like I wish I could just get my Roku life remote and just pause for five fucking seconds take a deep inhale exhale and then move on with my day you know what I mean like I just feel like I can never get caught up and especially from like I've noticed I've been very very attentive with myself and it's helped me just being more aware I guess from like one to five let's say if I'm not going to the gym because usually I go to the gym from like four to whatever but from one to five if I start that fraction of my day on my phone just going through drafts or like editing but like not really or starting some train my day's wrecked like if I, I it's I have to be so intentional about how I spend every hour or else I will find myself not doing anything I have to be so so much harder on myself to get shit done especially this time of year right now it's just harder for me and then it's also frustrating because I have such high goals and standards and things I'm so excited for in the future coming so soon that I am like so excited for but it takes to talking yourself into it and it's so interesting how I can literally talk myself into taking a 5 a.m. spin class going to the gym every single day like drinking my water or whatever but little things things like responding to fucking emails that is gonna what that's what sends me over let's be so for real what do you mean it's just it's I don't know it gets overwhelming but like right now it's about 8 30 I'm gonna wash my face and then start editing the vlog that you're literally watching right now which I'm excited for I just even though I got so much done today, I've recently finding myself sitting in sadness at night thinking about the fact that I could have done more. And I know it's not a productive emotion, but maybe it's just this time of year. I feel like I'm kind of in a funk, but not in a funk if I don't do anything because I know that that's, girl, you're going to the gym. Like I'm still doing things, but it doesn't feel like I'm doing the amount that I humanly possibly could, which I know is not the point here, but it's just hard. So let's wash our face. Anyways. Let's wash our face. Your smell me again, you know the vibes. I just feel like I'm forever awaiting, go through every little checkbox, every little thing on my list, awaiting the time where I have nothing needed and I'm, I'm finally caught up and I'm never caught up. And I know that in life, you're never gonna get caught up, right? So I can't wait that, but I just feel like I'm constantly working and pushing myself so hard for the moment that I get it all finished. And then it's this realization that there's always gonna be more shit to do. And I'm grateful for a lot of what it is because it is kind of my choice. Like I know I don't technically have to do a lot of the things that I do, but they do bring me, you know, fulfillment and passion. And that's something that I genuinely really love. But even in productive days or like this day literally felt like this is aquifer by the way. Or ooh, I'll do right now in first. Almost went out of order there. Cause this is like seals the deal. Whatever. But I just almost feel like even in my most productive days, I'm never as productive. Like, for example, I'm pretty sure on my checklist this morning, I wanted to do my podcast today. I didn't end up having enough time to do it, which is okay, baby. It's Thursday. You have all weekend. You're going to be okay. But even though, like, that's a totally fine thing, I still sit at night and I'm like, ugh. And then I get restless and then that's when I think I've noticed that it's really starting to affect me. It's because it starts to affect my sleep because I'm literally up. I cannot sleep because I'm just thinking about all the things that I have to do. My brain never just shuts up. That's a lot of aquaphor. Hey, more slugging tonight, I guess. Call me Gary the Snail. I just feel like you're never going to get caught up. There's always something to worry about and the second that I feel like I have some sort of organization, my eyebrows look like I just... <laughs> I just lit firework in front of my face. But you know what I mean? I just wish that there was a moment where you could pause. And even I even think right now, if I were to go on, let's just say if I went on a vacation or something, the whole time it would not be relaxing because I'd be thinking about my what I could be doing-ness. And it's like, I just don't know how to fucking rest, dude. When I talked to my therapist about it too, she was like, well, you think of your rest as... My eyebrows still look kind of crazy. They look like those girlies that get them laminated, but like in not the good way. No shade, but whatever view your rest time or downtime whatever as productive because that's helping you be more productive in your good but it's like yes thank you so much that's great advice that doesn't take the uncomfort part out of it 
you know, I can know. I can, that's the thing about being so self-aware. I can know that things might not make sense or I can know that my certain thought pattern is a negative one, but that doesn't take away the fact that it's there, the fact it's hard for me, you know what I mean? I've been noticing it, this is Grande Lash, mainly with my phone usage. When I'm on my phone so much that I can literally feel it getting hot, I feel disgusting. Like, not morally, but just, I just, I, I don't know. I just, I feel so gross whenever I'm on my phone all the time. And my screen time has been atrocious recently. And in days where, like, I'll do something to completely not be on my phone, I feel so good when I'm not on my phone. But a lot of the things that I do require me to be on it, you know? It, I'm just finding a hard time. And then, <laughs> and then... I feel like I'm in those, what is it, those English like, circle talks. And to add on to that, to piggyback off what Haley said, okay? I don't like being on my phone a lot, but a lot of my friends are not close to me. So I find myself technically, like by definition, I am isolating myself. I don't really talk to anybody. I don't Snapchat at all. I have two streaks with my two best friends and I snap them once every day. And it's just to keep the streak, really. Because we text. If you need me, you text me. And if you don't have my number, that speaks for itself kind of thing. I don't use that. I only use Instagram, really, to post stories sometimes and respond to DMs with you guys and my friends. Like my friends' pictures and things like that. Email is a lot of business stuff, TikTok stuff, school stuff, brand stuff. And like, that's it. I don't... So I'm not on my phone because I don't like being on my phone. But then I'm not talking to my friends as much as they deserve either and it's just hard because it's like am i working on myself am i isolating i don't know how to read between that line and i try to be very verbal too like my friends are the best like they don't even care every time i text them oh my god like i'm so sorry because i'll mentally respond to my texts all the time and then it'll be like two days and i'm like oh my god i'm the worst ever they're always so understanding and they're the same exact way but it's just hard for me because i think it's in contrast to when you were younger friendships are so intertwined where it's like you're spending every waking moment together now as you get older you have to fit into each other's schedules and you have to prioritize and it gets challenging and then i feel bad that my friendships get challenging because I'm like, they shouldn't be that. But that is a dynamic that shifts as you age. It, It's just like, what? What? This is just one of those times where I would journal whatever I'm speaking to you, but it is therapeutic just spewing. So I appreciate you guys listening. That's my skincare, my nighttime skin all done. Yay. As for the rest of my night, I'm gonna just edit some of this vlog. It's yeah, like 8.35 right now. Journal about my day because as you can see, and I've been really honestly, I've been trying to get into writing a lot more and I wonder if that would be very helpful in times where I just feel like I'm overthinking every fucking thing ever. I don't know, I'm feeling very reflective right now and I know that this is a fleeting emotion and I know that a lot of the problems that I have right now are periodic and I will get through them. But sometimes you really gotta sit and like talk yourself, coach yourself through them. What is it? What is the coach's name from Glee? Oh my God. I, you know who I'm talking about with the short hair, she's iconic. I wish I had her uh, on like my shoulder all the time. Cause I feel like she would always help, I don't know. But tomorrow is a new day. Thank you guys so much for watching. We're just going to edit. I'll read a little bit before I go to bed and get my ass to bed. Cause I gotta get up at 3.30 tomorrow. Fierce. So excited, I'm very blessed. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much. And I appreciate you and all the support more than you will ever know. We'll get through February. We will, cause we have to. And we get to. How cool is that? Go get big.